If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Digital World 2020. Thank you so much for being here, those of you who are live with me on Twitch. If you're watching YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really, really, really helps out the channel. Big shout out to the sponsors of the channel. Quote on store, any code cards you need for the online game, instant email delivery, great prices, and tailman code for 5% off. There's also <coughs> Millibots Gaming. If you're watching from Europe, you can get cards over there. Using Tailwind code, you get 5% off as well. Great store that supports the channel. So if you purchase there, you're also supporting the channel in an indirect way and you get a little discount right there. And um, Rafa, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Very kind of you, welcome to the stream. Thank you so, so much. And finally, big shout out to tgplayer.net where I don't offer a discount there, but if you're planning on buying any cards from there um, and you follow the link, down below, whether you're watching on Twitch or YouTube, you follow the link down below. You get to support the channel as we get a small kickback. All you need to do is have everything ready and just check out following the link below. Um, I will the Reshes are got second place to um, the surprise of many, maybe not the surprise of many. Um, it's more like a firebox because it's um, it has ability in nine tails, but it only plays one Reshes heart. It plays Victini V, it plays Victini Prism, it plays Heatran GX, it plays Megalopony, and it plays Turtonator as well. Relies on Welder, of course, and the inclusion of Lucky Eggs, I really like them because they give you an extra way where you say, well, if you're gonna deal with this Pokemon, then you're gonna give me extra cards, or I'm gonna be stamp proof. And if you don't deal with this Pokemon, which is probably powered up, you're gonna get punished by not dealing with this Pokemon. So it creates these really cool um, scenarios. Um, Rafa, thank you so much. Thank you so much for using the TCG link yesterday. Very kind of you. And yeah, you can use um, the switches. Of course you can use the secret switch. <laughs> um, all right, so you want to welder onto the powerful attackers. I will not go over every Pokemon. This deck should be pretty, like it's been around since we had the format. It's literally changed like four or five cards maybe since Tord got fourth place at Worlds with it. So let's jump into the games, which is what people want to see. And by the way, I've been, so far I'm on a, since Sword and Shield came out, I'm on a 100% streak of putting the deck in the deck list down. And the deck list is putting the, the deck list in the description of the videos down below. So that's pretty good. All right, so my opponent won the gun flip, they decided to go first. We'll see what happens. We shall see what happens. Um, the new cards we're getting back, Charizard Best. I usually don't look at um, at new cards that get released until they will actually be out. Because, for example, Ocean Sword and Shield just became legal this weekend, right? And I have an expanded regional to prepare for next weekend or this weekend coming. I have a standard regional coming in two weeks, so. I heard about the Lysander effect coming back and whatnot. I do hear about them, but I don't give them much thought because they will not help me in winning the tournament that's this weekend, you know? So I usually don't focus on the future cards. You know? I heard about them. It's awesome that they're coming back, but I'm not like super, super excited about them because they're not relevant. Sword and Shield became legal this weekend and the cards we're talking about 
or you're mentioning are going to come out in May, which is three months from now. There are tournaments. I want to win um, this <clears throat> this weekend. <laughs> All right, so we priced a one Vulpix and one Ninetales lineup. We priced our Heatran as well. We, we priced two fires, that's not super impactful. All right, so I have a big decision to make here on whether I want to KO, right? Um, and I lose this welder, which is not great. I do have the pal ban. So what do I Pokecon for? Do I Pokecon for Vulpix? Do I expect my opponent to have knockout on Victini? I think I should expect that. So maybe I should just go for Akirachi. Just for like consistency purposes. And I'm gonna dead change it. It's unfortunate that I got the welder and the two switches. <coughs> I don't wanna give my opponent the giant heart, of course, but I will. Bench the turtle here and attach to it. And then I'm just gonna energy burst. Taking away Jirachi from my opponent is great. Even if I'm trading one for two, like it's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. And the fact that it's not immediately promoted might indicate a little weakness on my opponent's hand. Maybe. Right? Maybe. <clears throat> I don't say that my pick is 1.5. I mean. If you can destroy it consistently over the course of 30 games, Cage, and like literally destroy it, then sure, right? But <laughs> it's not as black and white as, oh, I won once, therefore. Time to break out the beaches. I don't, I don't own any tropical beaches. I own two Playa Tropical, <laughs> which is tropical beach in Spanish, but I cannot play that at expanded regionals. Rafa, thank you so much for the extra 500 bits. That is amazing. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Okay, this is pretty great. This is pretty great because we're likely going to get another prize card. So Victini V, which is worth two prizes, will end up taking two prizes itself. So that's good enough for me. Unless, unless my opponent finds a knockout here. Right, which he only fire crystals for two fires. He might not have the four fires in hand that he needs. And I think benching that drunch is a clear indication that yeah, he's gonna retreat into it. Maybe he's holding a switch and a fire flint gets him there, but I doubt it. Well, there's a fire flint. If he plays it, then that means KO maybe. No, nope, there's the intrepid sword, that's perfectly fine. Two for two prizes, I am perfectly okay with that trade because at some point I might be able to cost the station B and end up winning the price trade that way. Okay, that was a very nice top deck. I'm gonna heat factory away. And then <clears throat> I am going to jam cards away this person for these two. So I'm sitting, trying to get to a ball pad and or other welders, right? Um, definitely, definitely want to set up a full fix here. Because I have the manual attachment on the turret, which is pretty nice. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of the Jirachi. I won't need more than one Jirachi here. So we'll do this, we'll do this, and then we'll go ahead and retreat. And we will take another KO. So two for two, that's okay. As long as I take a prize for every prize card that my opponent takes, that is all we need. That is really all we need. All we can ask for. And we have no way to attack my opponent's hand, so it's gonna come down to this price rate where I need to be very cost effective and I need to set up Night Tales to close out the game on this station. Alright. Snorlax VMAX is also a bit card and expanded now. Yeah, Snorlax VMAX is really cool. Really, really powerful. The bad part about Baby Blast, they return KO so easy and now they are running Sajin and Egg. They have a big hand all the time. Yeah, from a drummer, that is very true. Um, especially the Egg, I think it's super strong. Um, but I think that Sajin makes them a little vulnerable to gusting effects and to opponents being able to close out games by KOing that instead of having to, instead of being forced to go through two more Pokemon. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rafa. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. Super, super kind of you. Super, super kind of you. 
Really appreciate the support. And I'm really glad that you're getting back into it. Yeah. Hopefully you can take advantage of some of the discounts that our um, sponsors offer. And there should be more, more happening. <laughs> there should be more things happening with the channel. I'm very happy that uh, perhaps I don't have the biggest Pokemon TCG YouTube channel, but the effort put into it is um, is noticed, right? And the hard work and the ethics, the work ethic that goes into it is definitely noticed. And that's great, right? That is great. I can't ask for much more. Um, all right. So I know I have big TV, so I don't mind doing this. I just, I really want Welder. <laughs> Now I'm gonna do this. I gave my opponent card access that time. He might even deck himself out. That'd be fantastic. Um, I find nine deals, which is great. So I'm gonna get rid of the full fix. I'm gonna grab the team. All right, so I don't need Welder this turn, but I do find it and that's fantastic. So is this the turn I go after the staging with Big Teeny? No, I don't think it is. It is a turn I power up with team, though. I don't expect... Calvin, thank you so much! Calvin Russ Davis 86 thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Very, very kind of you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you all so very, very much. Alright. So, finding Lucky Egg is pretty nice as well. Pretty, pretty nice. Even tempted to play the Switch, but... Now we go Explosive Jet. If my opponent... Oh, okay. So this is where my opponent uses Fion. This is where my opponent uses Fion. Right. Thanks so much for the follow. KT Dual Dame. So who do I bring up? Who do I bring up after my opponent uses Fion? Is it Jirachi? Yeah, I think it's Jirachi. I think it's Jirachi. Wow, Tama Drummer, thank you so much. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Mark BD. Thank you so much, Tama Drummer. I really, really appreciate it. That's very, very kind of you. And Capri Heavens, thanks so much for the follow. So much activity. Thank you so much. <coughs> <laughs> I feel like we must be close to activating the hype train that sometimes happens when there's a lot of like movement back to back to back. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. I really appreciate the support from everyone. Any follow, any any bit, literally every single bit helps out and motivates me, right? Motivates me to continue to do streams and to continue to put in the effort. All right, so we're gonna see a great catcher, which is fine. Right? Like this means my opponent gets ahead in the price race, which is okay. Right? I am perfectly okay by that <coughs> because then what I'm gonna do is exactly that as well. I'm probably just gonna go after the station. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Depends on if I can find a welder here. I don't even know how many fires I have. Nine, well, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, I can definitely afford to do this. And there's a welder. There's a welder. So what I need to do is not bench another. Um, what I need to do is not bench another. Um, there we go. Not bench another GX. And then my opponent has absolutely no way to win this turn. Which is fantastic, right? And then I get to nine temptations of the Sajin. Put myself down to one prize. And then no matter what my opponent tries to do here. I mean, should I fire flint and get an attachment? I think I should. I can just win with Turtinator, right? So that's great. That is fantastic. I will get the energy attachment and then I will infinity. And now my deck is full, full, full of energies. I have the welder. 
a reset stamp would be the worst thing to happen, right? Because then my odds of finding Welder would not be very high at all. But I have no choice. I actually have no choice right here. So it comes down to the stamp, and then if I can find Welder up of the stamp, having heat factor down is definitely useful. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> so the widow gets countered easily. Pseudo Wudo plus Stealthy Hood into your deck is not a Snorlax answer? Yeah, not necessarily. Stealthy Hood is played into though, but yeah, it's not the best for sure. straightforward pretty straightforward and you can see how like if my opponent hadn't like this agent helped him get to this point right however however this agent also ended up allowing me to win the price trade despite having benched a Dedenne without Dedenne I wouldn't have gotten to where I got either so even though baby blonde has that intrepid sword option it can definitely be costly, right? It can definitely be costly sometimes. Alright, we get our Volcano EX for our efforts. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I've had a cough for the last month and it just won't go away. And I feel like so much traveling and so many airplanes I've been to. Like, I got it on the way back from when I flew to two League Cups. I can't believe I did that either, but at least it paid off. But I flew to two League Cups and then I got, I caught the cough and then I I took medicine for it, then I had a throat infection, and then I went to, where did I go? Then I went to Costa Rica, wow, what a hint. I went to Costa Rica and it got worse because round one I played under the air conditioning. And then I just went to, to do some whale watching and the flights also like, blah. One second, I need to open the window because it's really getting hot here. All right, it's getting much warmer here in Mexico City now, so I might end up having to. Um, thanks so much, thanks so much, Rafa. Wow, 500 more bits. Thank you so so much. Thank you so 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 much. That is so kind of you, Ruben. So weird to call you Ruben when your nickname is Rafa, but thank you so so much. Lucky I guess insurance against hand disruption, which ability Tart has always struggled with. Indeed, Nader Frank, indeed. Um, my opponent could have stabbed me with Fion at some point um, to bypass that. So you need like double Lucky Egg down in order to um, to prevent that. Um, so Wishmaster, Lucky Egg isn't necessary, but it's great, right? It's great insurance for the late game, as um, as Native Ryan mentioned. You know? It's a great anti stab measure. So it's not like you don't want Lucky Egg to draw more cards because, as you mentioned, Jirachi and the Dene already draw you so many cards. But um, but you do want Lucky Egg in order to guarantee that you can close out the game without struggling. Like in a close game, the Lucky Egg can be the difference between finding that last welder on the last turn or not finding it. So I'd say it's definitely worth it. I'd say it's definitely, definitely worth it. Right. Alright. So my buddy is playing U3 Malamar. Chose to go first. Hey Josh, how are you doing? Hi Berserk, it doesn't feel right. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and Welder. I've actually been like... Okay, very nice. 
I've definitely been questioning the bling. <laughs> uh, please heat rent don't be prized, awesome. I've been questioning the bling in terms of like just playing with non-blingy cards. Not even reverse holo, just trying to play that way online. Right, so see it's like, sure, my opponent chose to go first, which in a Malamar deck seems great, right? And sure, my opponent got a Ditto and an Inkia, an Inkia down. Great, right? Fantastic. But I got a KO on turn one, and now my opponent doesn't have Jirachi. So that's going to be a second, possibly, underwhelming turn for them. So, I don't know. Like, every game I feel like, I feel even more strongly about choosing to go second. Just it's about the the Thursday surprises. All right, and now I definitely don't mind a. I definitely won't mind a. What's the name? A horror house GX here because I already have an attacker going. Like I might get the Heatron KO, but that's fine because I'll get an attack up and I have Welder, I have energy, I have giant cards to power up something. Even if he does the double energy. Horror house and gives me enough cards. Should be fine. Should be fine. Second is first to use supporter, which is really going first. No, it's not, Charizard. <laughs> it's not. Like going second is going second. Going first is going first. Going second has a big advantage. Oh my gosh, what? Does my opponent have switch? Well, I guess that's a very cool turn two. My opponent actually has a switch, then this is a very cool turn too. All right. Does he go for the GX? No, he goes for the Night Lunch. All right. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we needed him to hit Energy and Night Dills for me to be able to get a knockout here. That's okay though. So I could... Hmm. How important is Night Dills here? I feel like having energies might be better. Just thinning the energies will be better. So do I hit for 200? No, right? Definitely not. 130. Um, I'm gonna do this and then I'll team stomp. So yeah, pretty, oh, two energies go away too. That's okay. Um, not bad, not bad. Uh, you, you use all the blink, you get online, but in real life, nothing. But bottom of the barrel, rarity, plus rarity for cards, you shuffle way too hard and ruin my play cards. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely a factor, Tama Drummer, for not using blink cards. Um, <clears throat> people also like have the superstition that the cards get stuck, which I don't think that happens. But, um, but some people do think that. All right. Oh, if my opponent hadn't hit the welder. Okay, so now we still a wish, and we find heat factory. We need to find more cards. Uh, welder here, like it, it nets me more cards, but it's still not great. Well. Okay, so I'm gonna bench that, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna switch into the Vulpix, and I'm gonna Dead Change. I'll rewell there, so I can't weld her onto a Reshisar, but... Alright, this Lucky Egg is this sort of guarantee that we were talking about, right? I'll flirt for 20, because I can. <laughs> I'll flirt for 20, because I can. And then if my opponent chooses to snipe, that's fine, because this hand is completely busted for next turn. So if my opponent chooses to snipe with um, Nagnet Bell GX, that's fine. If he chooses to take away my hand, um, hopefully he doesn't hit the Welder. Um, hitting two energies will not be great. 
obviously. I need him to hit the Dene and the Fire. But I will also recover cards with the Lucky Egg. So that's great, right? That is great. You could have the you could have played the giant hearth take to energy tisker and I don't play fire flint filtering more your deck. True, Wishmaster, that is very true. That is something I definitely could have done better. You are a hundred percent correct. Hundred percent correct. You haven't ever played any other games with Pokemon other than Magic many years ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean I bet those those magic cards from back then would be very... Would be worth a pretty penny, right? I'd imagine they would be. Okay, so... I guess the big issue is the... Pale Moon GX attack here. Yeah, we're not in a great spot. Five... Well, you know what? It might be fine, like if my opponent Pale Moon sends the energies in the discard, I might be able to use them for Big T. But if my opponent finds the other Metal Energy, which I don't know why he attached the Metal to Linke. Um, skills, thank you so much for the host, very kind of you. Um, and Capri Heavens, I don't think I thanked you for the follow, maybe I did. Wait, what? He used a GX attack? What? I think... Oh wow, you gave away Black Lotus, that's harsh. <laughs> um, did my opponent think he was healing himself? Yeah, that's a big mistake. That is most certainly a big mistake here. Most certainly a big mistake. Um, I feel like I want to bench the full fix now. Wow, that was a big mistake by my opponents. Very, very big mistake. Very big mistake. Okay, I need my last welder. I needed my last welder. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I needed my last welder. Let's get rid of stuff. Improve our top decks. And let's go player strike. That was really weird. My opponent forgot. <laughs> he simply forgot. Okay, Drachi, Fire Flint, and Fire. <coughs> we haven't seen any stadiums either from my opponent, which is really odd. But okay. And Rafa, did you just send 500 more bits? Or am I reading that wrong? Or have they not arrived yet? You'd say Pilm is a lot better of a GX move to save on to the... Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure he misclicked. He he thought he was getting the KO. But yeah, I agree with that. I feel like if he had Miraculous Duo on heal, that would have also been okay. But Miraculous Duo without healing, that was definitely the worst option. My opponent might just have the metal energy here and then that's game. For... Yeah, if he has a metal, then that's game. Anyways. <laughs> nice, JC. Could I not have attacked with Victini V this turn? I'm pretty sure I drew. Yeah, I could have. That would have been less risky. I could have. You're right. I actually could have done that. You are right. Attacking with Victini V would have probably been better. And there's the middle. If I attacked with Victini V, then my opponent would have needed a Great Catcher along with the Metal Energy, which they might have had or not, but... <clears throat> yeah, I mean... My opponent ended his turn 1 with a Dero and an Inke. <coughs> and like, he got a, a crazy turn 2, right? With the Night Watch and completely ruined my hand. And I had that one turn where I like, didn't do anything. However, however, if he had chosen to go second, I would not have KO'd the, the Jirachi, right? So in the end, his turn two would have been just as strong, if not stronger, because he would have been able to play a turn one supporter. I don't know. Ah, okay, Ruben, so then that's, I don't know what's going on. 
Uh, I would not like to go first. This is Joe, right? This is Omnipoke. This is Omnipoke. Is he streaming? Is Omnipoke streaming right now? Yeah, it was an insane turn too, for sure. No, he's not streaming. Maybe he's recording a video. So let's kick his butt for the video. <laughs> let's kick his butt for the video. All right. It's so weird for you to see wretches are attacking with zone attacks and not see them through Mew 3. <laughs> yeah, it's Joe Bernard. Um, let's start Jirachi. This is a pretty solid turn turn one hand. Might even get us a turn one KO. No stream, yeah, no stream. So he's probably recording the Oceana champion video or something. I have not seen the list, Achilles. I have not seen Henry's mute box with Soul Burst. Is it posted anywhere? Is it posted? I haven't seen it. Maybe it's only, but no, he didn't make it too. All right. He destroyed you yesterday. Who has the best? Who has the better sponsored account from TVCI? Who has the better? Oh, this is Marcario. Who has the better the better RNG programmed into their account, right? That's what we're fighting for here. Nice welder top deck, Pablo. Well, kinda nice. Um I don't know how to sequence this. I might want to go for yeah, 15E. 15E. I think I just go for TV. Um, this will be pretty good. No Heatran is very sad. Yeah, no Heatran is very sad. Alright, I'm gonna bench this person. I'm gonna welder onto it. And I'm hoping, there we go. I was hoping to draw some cool fire energies. I like the Lucky Egg here. Let's switch. I was hoping to draw some fire energies to discard so I can take advantage of the spreading flames. And there we go, this is beautiful. So I wanna give him Heat Factory, I think it's fine. Okay, so there's already three energies here. I should establish a Vulpix or Reshi. Do I just power up Reshi? I have one welder priced. Maybe I just power up Reshi and threaten with that. Maybe I power up this guy. Nah, I feel like this as a surprise attack is better. So I'll establish the Vulpix and I'll power up the Turkinator. That should be plenty. That should be plenty. Plenty good. Alright, so we'll spring flames. We will attach one. We'll attach one. Yeah, I think this is fine. This makes sense to me. <coughs> I don't think wishing first was good because I didn't need to welder for two. I don't think wishing first was good here. What's good there? Low buff in the late game will be insane indeed. Oh, you watched the video twice to get 55 cards of the deck. Well, I haven't watched the video, so <laughs> it's hard for me to, to have an opinion on that deck I have not seen yet. Yeah, Makarwe GX did pretty well at OTIC. It got top 16, I think. But the list by Japanese players, it hasn't been posted yet. I wonder if Ark and Labs will, will just post the lists. That would be nice. <clears throat> Alright, so do we get KO'd or do we survive? If we survive, I could actually get the KO on the Mew 3 with Turtonair, which would be pretty nice, honestly. It completely resets my energies, but that's okay for this deck. And I'm trading 3 for 1, which is insanely good. <laughs> Alright.
Alright, so we do get KO'd, we do draw a bunch of cards. We do have a switch. Okay, so I guess this is a cool question. Do I... I have double Stella Wish to potentially find Welder. Do I just go for the, like the full in, re full on return KO? Might be worth it. I don't want to drop fires though, right? So I'm thinking this first to thin, right? I feel like I should pop that. I feel like I should pop that the the welder. I will pop up the welder. I will do this. There we go. Okay. So we have knockouts. Guaranteed. I'm gonna flex by weldering onto Jirachi. Okay. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna Pokegong establish nine tails. Victini can't be KO'd if it's not in play. So that's good. Do I wanna quick pull anything? Maybe the fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I have plenty more. Should be fine. I probably should not have done that. I'll grab this, but I will not bench it. Then I will still wish. And I'll grab the welder, for sure the welder, to force a reset stamp. And I'll do this, then I'll do this, and then I'll retreat, and then goodbye Mewtwo. Right, 300 damage, turn, turn 3, yeah, not bad, so we traded 2 for 3. Or essentially 3 for 3, but then we get a chance to get more ahead. And the welder from the prize is very, very well done. Alright, and my opponent only has one attack, right? And discarding two energies off my card goal in order to KO a church is not very cost effective. <coughs> and even though the lucky egg will not like it will not draw me any cards right now, if my opponent does reset stab me, then the lucky egg protects me from that. So it's a win-win, you know? It's a win-win. Worst case scenario would be. Reset stamp plus double cost him onto Jirachi. That would be bad. We'll see if Joe plays towards that. Um, yeah, so sometimes people just don't give out their lists. You're finally getting your Sword and Shield boxes tonight. Seven booster boxes, nice. Yeah, I would expect not to be not to need to buy any of these tables. But I mean, I know that opening. I know opening booster packs is really fun, right? And you have a chance for blingy cards or not. I think I spent like $200 for all the staples from Sword and Shield. Do you think that's a little better, Tama Drummer? Like, instead of hoping to not need too many more staples after seven boxes, like, you get so much bulk. I mean, if you have time to sort it and like resell everything, then that's fine, right? Or that's good. But overall, I don't know. Doesn't feel super super worth it to buy booster boxes. But I know there's like the fun factor opening them with your wife, but not that's also really nice, right? Okay, so no stamp obviously because of the egg, but no double custom, which is also great. Makari got 19. Ah there we go. It's just I'm pretty sure it went in to day two on like second seat or something, right? Um Heatran is prized. I don't know, but I don't need Heatran. I don't need Heatran. I need Victini, which I have now. 11. Yep. Yeah. I need Victini, which I have. I have Switch. Ooh, that plus stamp now is, is bad, but it's not worse than double custom plus stamp. So this is fine. This is fine because we have Switches. We just need to draw a Fire. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you so much, that that is very kind of you. 11 fires. Um, all right, so that's 220 damage. That is perfect mats for the Macargo. I don't care about giving him that. I feel like establishing double Jirachi would be really good. 
So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so is there any merit to KOing something other than... Like, using Victini to KO something other than the Macargo GX? I'm still gonna have enough, like, firepower to KO this, guys. I feel like KOing this might be good. I honestly feel like KOing that might be really, really, really good. Uh, I do have a bit there, eh? Left. I feel like carrying this Macargo might be really good overall. Nine cards left, that's okay, because I'm gonna put plenty of them back right now. It does make my welder odds worse. It's just I, I respect the reset stamp, you know? I respect the reset stamp. So do I go after this? I respect the reset stamp. Dull Victini helps to prevent the, uh, to protect myself against the reset stamp. I'm not gonna do it. I mean, the energies go back into a deck anyways. Well, you know what? Reset stamp to two is better than reset stamp to one, so I am going to do it. I am going to do it. Maybe it's your render. Yeah, maybe it's your render actually. Let's go. Infinity. I don't bench this, therefore my opponent cannot win next turn. Put a bunch of cards back. Um, if I get reset stamped, then there's two welders, which is not great odds for sure. Not great odds. Um, I do have one quick pull, one Pokecom left. Not too many Pokemon though. Alright. You use bulk leftovers, no cash for the boxes. Oh, there you go. There you go. That works. <clears throat> Yeah, buying singles is, is, is as you mentioned, more um, competitive focused, I guess. What, wasn't there a Zinchino Mill in top 8? Um, yes, but it got DQ'd for a deck with Terror as Tama Drummer. Yep, that is correct. I mean, it wasn't even an error, it was just like a, a really silly... A really silly... Um, a really silly situation, right? A really silly situation. All right. Here's your anger room. There's Mew 3, which is still KO'd as easily, right? But Joe needs his reset stamp. Oh, nice, Charizard. So it's like a firebox, Macargo toolbox concept. I like that, I like that. I like that. All right. Yeah, Mega Opening can one kill Mew3, and even if I couldn't, like, I can Nine Tails, right? And there's a well play. Joe knows that his fate has been decided. My deck is full of Fire Energies, I have the Giant Hearts, I have another Giant Hearts. Um... Let's go ahead and... Uh, I should not have gotten rid of that Pokecom, actually. I should not have gotten rid of that Pokecom, but I mean, I should drop one fire here, yeah. And there's four, ta uh, four GXs, 300 damage, jumping balloon incoming for the game. Not bad. <coughs> not bad at all. I wonder what kind of cost effects Joe was choosing. Very nice concept though. Very, very cool concept for sure. And all right, that will be all for Ability Reshi. This one took longer than I thought it would. Um, that will be all for Ability Reshi's art. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I won't be able to continue playing because of the time and my other commitments. Yeah. However, however, um, I should be streaming tomorrow. I need to make content for tomorrow as well. So, 
the Mewtwo video you'll be seeing it tomorrow, the Fire video you'll be seeing it on Wednesday, and so I need content for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday when I come back from Collinsville. So tomorrow should be a long stream kind of day. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Really, really appreciate the support and everyone hanging out. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yeah.